Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are talking current favorites. So I'm gonna share with you guys all the products that I have been loving for the past like two months or so. I also have some newer favorites that I had to share with you guys, but all around great products, lots of drugstore. I'm also gonna share with you guys some random favorites that I've been loving as well, some snacks, skincare, a little bit of everything. So I hope you enjoy, grab a snack, get cozy, and if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell that we are notified every single time I upload. So yeah, let's hang out and talk current favorites. Okay, so we are starting off with primers first. I actually have two different primers, one drugstore, one high-end. Let's start with the high-end first. So I have the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. So this is such a great, lightweight, everyday pore filling primer. It doesn't fall up or clump on the skin. It looks good with any foundation. It's not matte and it just has this lightweight kind of gel like texture and it just melts into the skin but makes your skin look super smooth you just need about like that much to fill in whatever you need to on your skin whether that's your t-zone your chin around your nose you don't need a lot of this primer but once you start blending it in it is so lightweight the texture is different and it is so smoothing you can just see like how easily that blended on the back of my hand the finish of it is also natural which is nice because I feel like a lot of pore filling primers tend to be really matte and sometimes a little bit too matte and drying on the skin but the formula of this is perfection and this actually does fill in your pores which I love this is the Milani SPF 30 primer this is so good you guys so at first I thought this was new but it's actually not so it says here it's the new look but same great formula as their prime and protect primer the formula is so seamless super lightweight so I still apply my regular SPF like I would any other day and then I normally like to wait about 15 20 minutes before applying makeup if I am applying it in the morning and then I go in with some primer water and then I use this primer over top. So I love the fact that I'm getting extra SPF throughout the day. It just blends into the skin so easily and normally products with SPF in it I feel like they don't like they just take forever to blend but this one is like the formula is unlike anything else like even like the first time I used it I used way too much. I was like oh goodness this is not gonna blend but then I started actually blending it in with my fingers and bam so quick and easy. You don't even smell the SPF or really feel like it's too greasy on the skin like it's a great everyday primer with SPF in it that also makes your makeup last which is really nice doesn't really have much of a scent too I don't really smell a ton of SPF or anything it almost smells like it has no fragrance in it and I love the fact that it just feels like a lotion blends really easily and it gives you such a pretty kind of natural glow so if you want that extra boost before makeup I think this is a great primer to use and I've been loving it so yeah this is gonna be like my everyday go-to primer for like the rest of my life because of the SPF in it and now that I'm 25 I'm like give me all the SPF because they say like once you're 25 that's when you start aging so I'm like please give me all the SPF because my skin needs it so I love this next up I have a foundation that I have been loving and using again non-stop but this is the essence pretty natural hydrating foundation I have mine in the shade 090 neutral suede this actually comes in 31 different shades which is pretty good for essence honestly because normally their shade range is very limited so I love the fact that they did expand with this foundation because it's so good it's under ten dollars and it has the most perfect natural everyday coverage it is medium to buildable but it's like second skin it gives you the look and like the finish and like the feeling of a skin tint or like a BB cream on the skin but it covers up like a foundation while still feeling like second skin I don't know how they did it but they completely killed it with the formula and this foundation the finish is not dewy too a lot of skin tints are super dewy which I love personally but sometimes I do want something that is more natural because I normally go in with a primer that is very hydrating beforehand so the finish of this everything is fabulous this lasts a really long time and I have worn this in a mask I have worked out in this foundation I have been outside in this foundation like all day every day and it is super long wearing for the price I just I can't believe how good it is I have some cream products to mention so these are from the brand half caked so these are the cheek and lip tints so they have bronzers here and then they also have blushes you guys this formula is like to die for it is so dewy and so fresh on the skin if you like cream products you will love this brand they have tons of different colors in their bronzers and blushes as well if you have lighter skin darker skin tan skin and they're so affordable I think these are like eight or nine dollars some of the prices vary but they're super affordable and the quality is like Fenty it is very high-end it gives you the perfect wash of color on the cheeks the finish is dewy but it is very healthy and hydrating and the packaging everything about these they're just so cute so I love the bronzer you're so last summer this is just like a perfect everyday bronzy color for me that I feel like again is a really good Fenty dupe I'm wearing it today and I feel like it's a great cream bronzer for every single day because the finish the formula the color 
it's perfection. And then for blush, I'm also wearing this today. This is the Club Paradise Cheek and Lip Tint, and it's just like this really pretty peachy color. But again, they have tons of colors. If you go on their website, you can see all the variety. These are just like two of many. But yeah, wow, the formula is kind of like a bomb, but it's pigmented and it just gives your cheeks the prettiest color. This is a really tiny swatch of the blush, and that's just like a little bit, and you can just see like how gorgeous that finish is. So check out this brand. They also have tons of other products as well. They are an indie brand, which I love love to see so definitely check them out go show them some love they're amazing i have some more cheek products to mention so i wanted to mention this blush from milani so this is the milani baked blush in luminoso which i feel like has been a classic favorite and it's been around for like over 10 years at this point in the beauty space but this blush is everything and more you guys it is the perfect everyday blush and they have other colors in this as well this is just like my go-to for my skin tone i love everything about it because i feel like it matches with not just like everyday makeup but also just different looks that i do it goes so well with pretty much anything the formula is baked so it does give your cheeks this really pretty kind of healthy glow I'm actually wearing it today I have on quite a bit because I really wanted to show you guys like how pretty this glow is it is so subtle and I actually don't have on any highlighter in today's look I just have on this blush on my cheeks of course my cream products and everything and that is it that's how glowy and pretty this blush is and I feel like it's perfect for every day because you can kind of skip that step of highlighter if you're not into a super intense glow like me you can kind of just use this as a two-in-one product so lately with this look I really just love the way the blush and the bronzer looks together and this one in particular I think is perfect because it is so glowy and so pretty it doesn't have any glitter in it it's just glowy this is a classic favorite I've always loved that but lately I've been using it a ton for this everyday look that I've been doing and I've been loving it and then I have another blush that I wanted to mention so this is from Manny MUA's brand which is Lunar Beauty this blush palette is the palette of my dreams it doesn't even look like I've been using it that's how smooth and amazing this formula is there's no kickback there's no like crazy fallout all over the place the blushes just go on the skin like butter they blush blend really easily they last all day and I love the variety in here so I just wanted to mention this because I feel like it's a great everyday blush palette or just like a good blush palette to have in your collection I also wanted to shout out this little highlighter palette so this is from Milani it is the stellar lights highlighter palette and I wanted to mention it because I don't really use this on my cheeks that often it depends on the look but it is really pretty if you're into like an intense glow because these are like very pigmented but I wanted to mention this because this white color right here is what I have on my inner corners and I love it so much because it brightens everything up and it's such a smooth buttery formula this is what the white highlighter looks like you guys it is so intense so this formula is intense it's like butter but I just feel like these make for beautiful highlighters on your face but for inner corner highlights this one is stunning you could also use the gold as well I just love the way white looks in the inner corner this is the best shimmery white highlight that I've ever used at the drugstore it's so good let's talk about Brushes. These have been a part of my everyday makeup routine and I love them. They're both from Haley's Beauty. So this one is the Brilliant Kabuki brush. So this is the brush that I've been using for pretty much all my foundations, whether I'm testing out new ones or just using like my everyday favorite foundations. This is the brush that I'm using and this makes any liquid product look so flawless. I feel like it's the perfect amount of softness and also a little bit dense. So it doesn't shear out any of your foundation so it doesn't absorb any liquids and it just gives you such a smooth streak-free finish. I also really like this whenever I'm working with cream products because normally I will We'll go in with like an angled brush like this one is from Fenty and I will go in and kind of like place the product exactly where I want and then I will go in with the Kabuki brush from Haley's and kind of just blend out the edges of the cream bronzer to make it look super seamless and it works so beautifully every single time and this is the other brush that I've been loving from them this is their brilliant powder brush so I like this brush because it's kind of tapered so it's perfect for powder like just to set your makeup like your cheeks and it's also really good for bronzer for just adding some color back to your skin because it's tapered it's fluffy and the bristles are super soft so every single time no matter what product you're using it's going to look seamless it's going to look smooth so yeah these have been my favorites i can't stop using them next up i have a new mascara to mention this is from ColourPop. it is the act natural defining mascara i have this one in the shade brown but they also have the shade black you can also get the two pack for like i think it's like under 20 bucks but i love this mascara you guys it kind of reminds me of their bff volume mascara but it's a little bit more of a lightweight formula i feel like it's not as voluminous as that one but still great I actually think I like this one more especially for my lower lashes I feel like it separates them it makes them super long the mascara doesn't run or flake or clump and it separates your lashes beautifully and lengthens them this actually even shows up on my top lashes when I tested this out the first time I was like um this is amazing and this color brown and the formula everything is great so it separates lengthens adds a little bit of volume but not too much so it's definitely a good like everyday kind of natural mascara also wanted to shout out these lashes that I cannot stop wearing these are the salon perfect extension seeker 662 
tattoos. So Salon Perfect makes some of my favorite lashes. I love the 663s. I love the 614s. So many good ones. You can get these at Walmart. But lately, I cannot stop wearing the 662s. Like, just something about them. I just love how curly and kind of tapered and wispy they are on the ends. You can also trim them if needed if you just want, like, an outer corner lash. They're very pretty. They are long, and you can see, like, they're definitely, like, curly and like voluminous but not like too much like I think that these work really well with really simple everyday makeup or also if you're doing smoky eyes or just like really simple glam these are really pretty lashes the band is really flexible thin they're easy to apply they look great they last all day so check these out I think this pack is like seven dollars and you can reuse them let's talk about lip products you guys so my go-to lip combo of like the past like I don't know month or so I want to say like for like this everyday makeup has been my NYX suede matte lip pencil in the shade London like can you Tell that I love it. It's so tiny, but this is what I'm wearing on my entire lips today. So I lined and filled in my lips, and this is the color. I need to go to Ulta and buy another one because I love this so much, clearly. But it is just like that peachy kind of everyday brown color. But NYX makes, I think, like they have like 40 different shades in their lip liners. It's crazy, but they have tons of different colors. But I love this formula because it is matte. So when you apply it, it goes on really smoothly and glides on the lips. It's very matte, it's very long wearing, but it's still super creamy. And I love pairing it with a gloss over top it just gives me such a pretty everyday nude shade so this is pretty much all that I've been wearing and then I just topped that off with my essence shine 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 a wet look lip gloss which you guys know I love this one's in the shade behind the scenes which once upon a time way back when it used to be clear but now it looks like this because I wear it every single day okay now let's talk about the NYX this is milky glosses you guys these are so good. So if I'm not wearing this lip combo, I'm usually wearing something else with these over top. So I pretty much have all the colors except the blue one, but let me tell you, these are so creamy and definitely like just so pretty on the lips. So I'll swatch a couple of these for you just to show you how wearable they really are. They're very similar to the NYX Butter Glosses, but I feel like they are a little bit creamier and they have a little bit more of a tint to them when you put them on your lips. Some of the darker colors do have a little bit more pigment to them, but I feel like these are a great lip gloss that you could throw on by itself or even with a lip liner and you'll be good to go. So this is what the formula looks like right there. Absolutely stunning. Right up top we have the lavender color lilac splash. So in the packaging it looks a little bit intimidating but then you can see here the swatch up top it just gives you such a light beautiful tint. I mean these are wet, juicy, they're not sticky and they just give you the most perfect wash of color to the lips. This color right here in Milk the Cocoa, this is such a beautiful brown this is the shade right here. It's stunning. I feel like this for me would be a good fall color But if you are darker tanner, I think this would be so beautiful on you And then these are the other colors that I swatched So like I said some of the darker colors like this one right here in Cherry skimmed is this color right here It is a much more opaque versus the purple one So I feel like the darker you get into these the more pigment you're gonna get on your lips But it is beautiful Like I said, I feel like with these you don't really need to put too much on underneath You could just really do a lip liner or just the glosses on their own and you'd be good to go. I also wanted to mention this lip butter that I have been using pretty much every single time I do my makeup or just at night before bed. This is the Milani Avocado Butter Lip Mask. Okay, first of all, I hit pan on it, which is extremely satisfying. This is such a creamy, rich lip butter. It's not sticky. It is so hydrating. It feels amazing on the lips and it actually does make your lips super, super soft. So I sometimes get PR from Milani. So they did send this to me, but I loved it so much that I went on their website and I ordered another one because I love it. They have the rose one in store but this is the avocado one doesn't really smell like much it kind of smells like earthy like a green juice or something so if you have super super dry cracked lips like myself because my lips can get crazy crusty get this it's amazing okay so that is pretty much all the makeup now we're gonna get into some random so first i have the desi skin claro que si vitamin c glow serum i know i talked about a vitamin c serum in my last current favorites which i still love that one that one is from mad hippie but i have to be honest ever since i purchased this this one has replaced the other vitamin c serum that i was using because this is like incredible this is the vitamin c serum that i didn't know that i needed but now i have it and i feel like i cannot live without it packaging desi absolutely killed it i feel like this is so her and then you have a pump which is so nice and it says on here that you only need one to two pumps i do three pumps because i'm extra like that and i still have so much product left in here i don't know when i'm gonna run out of this but the minute that i do i am definitely ordering another one because i am blown away by how amazing this has made my skin look and feel ever since i started using it um, it's definitely been over a month i use it every single morning on my neck on my chest on my face and it just makes my skin i feel like looks so even bright and glowy but in the most natural way possible so what i like to 
to do is wash my face with my cleanser and then I immediately go in with this after and then I follow up with moisturizer and SPF. But honestly, sometimes my skin, it looks so good with just this that some days I don't even wear a moisturizer after. I just go right in with SPF and I'm good to go. So that's how amazing this product is. It has 15% pure vitamin C. It doesn't have any fragrance to it. And I like how it's like a lotion kind of consistency when you apply it. So that is one pump. And I feel like you do get a lot with that pump. Well, this is expensive, but it's really good, you guys. I wanted to shout out this heat protectant spray that I've been loving. This is the Heritage Play Cool Heat Protectant Spray. So this brand I have talked about before, you can get it at Walmart. All of their hair care products are like $10. Some of them are even a little under $10 at Walmart, but they are so lightweight and they have different shampoos and conditioners for all different hair types. But I love this so much because it's so lightweight and it doesn't weigh my hair down and make it greasy or heavy. This is another brand that is sulfate-free, paraben-free, silicone-free, gluten-free, mineral oil-free, it's vegan, cruelty-free, and it's color safe as well. I have some undergarments here. So some bras, some panties that I'm about to put you guys onto that are so good, so seamless, and it's a really great brand. They offer a bunch of different colors and they have different sizes, like everything. They're all about empowering women, which I love. So the brand is Ebby, which is spelled E-B-Y. They actually reached out to me about a little over a month or so ago just to try out their products and send some stuff over. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. No strings attached. I'll try it out. And I ended up falling in love with the stuff. This video is not sponsored but they did offer me a coupon code, which is a commission code that will give you guys 15% off. But if you use my code, I do make a percentage of commission. No hard feelings, no pressure. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it's there if you guys do want to order on their website and get a little discount. So let me show you this stuff because it's so good. So first let's chat about this bra and I will have exact names on the screen because I don't know everything at the top of my head, like the name of each item, but this is the most comfortable everyday bra that you will ever put on. It is so cozy. You can also take the padding out of this as as well. So for me, this is not like push up or anything. It just gives you that padding that you would need for like everyday kind of support. So it's very comfortable, but you do have the option to take it off if needed. But this is like, I feel like the only bra that I need for every single day. It's a great, like just bra that you could wear with like any t-shirt or you could even wear it to work out, which I do very often. It's so comfortable. It doesn't really feel like you're wearing a bra. It kind of just feels like little clouds on your boobs, which I'm all about. Cause I hate wearing bras. I'm actually not wearing one right now. Cause I wanted to show you guys this one, but I normally don't wear bras and like, you know, whatever, free the nipple. But whenever, I do wear a bra and I want it to be really comfortable. This is the one that I've been wearing. I wear it multiple times throughout the week. It's so comfortable. I want to get this in like every single color. I feel like I could honestly get rid of all my other bras and just wear this one and be totally okay. So yeah, this is an incredible bra. You can also adjust the straps here. So this is like my go-to, like the one that I wear like every single week. I've washed it multiple times and I've had no issues with it. The quality remains the same. And then let's talk about their panties. So I am definitely a either thong kind of girl or I I will wear regular panties whenever I have my period. I just love thongs. I find them to be so comfortable. If you get the right ones, some of them, like the ones that are really like fancy, like lingerie, I normally don't like for every day, but typically I'm always wearing thongs and I found my new favorite thong, you guys. So these thongs, you guys are so comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's riding up your booty, giving you a massive wedgie. Like this is actually so seamless and comfortable. You can wear this with leggings, with jeans, and it feels so good. It stays put. The thong doesn't like roll up on the sides. Like you guys know when you're wearing a thong and like you're going to the bathroom like throughout the day or something and the thong, it just starts to roll up on the side. It literally will start to twist and look like this and it is the most annoying thing, but that does not happen with this. I love this thong so much. It's like my go-to kind of everyday thong. I need to get like all the colors in this. And then let's talk about period panties or just panties in general. For me, these are my period panties because I like to feel really secure. I like to have that really good coverage whenever I have my underwear on, but I still like to keep it seamless and that is exactly what these are. So you can wear these with jeans, with leggings, and you're not gonna see any underwear lines. And these are high-waisted, which I really like because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm on my period, I'm extremely bloated. It literally looks like I'm probably like 10 weeks pregnant whenever I get my period. So I like that extra kind of comfort and security. It kind of feels like a security blanket wearing high-waisted big undies like this. I've actually tried a couple pair of seamless panties from Amazon, which I do really like, but I feel like the quality of these is much better. So yeah, these undies are everything. You guys absolutely need to 
you check out this brand and a little bit of a fun fact I have it here on my phone I just want to read it just to get it right but I thought this was so interesting and I'm so happy to support a brand that does this so 10% of all of Ebby's net sales not their profits like their actual sales go to the seven bar foundation to empower women out of poverty and into business through microfinance I think that is absolutely amazing I'm all about women empowerment and I love to see a brand supporting other women and helping other women in need as well so I will link their website down below so you guys can read up all about it and see all the different varieties sizes colors everything that they have to offer check them out they're amazing let's end off on a good note we're gonna chat about some snacks that I've been loving so first I have these little mini Lara bars so if you guys have not heard of Lara bars they are amazing little bars they have a ton of different flavors these are just like the little miniature ones but they're normally bigger and you can get them anywhere I got this from Walmart Target has them any grocery store has them but they're really great because they only usually come with very minimal ingredients these in particular come with six ingredients and it's like stuff that you actually can read so for instance these have cashews dates chocolate chips apple sea salt and vanilla extract and they're so good it just satisfies that sweet craving that sometimes I have throughout the day or before bed or something they're just like little mini bars but they're so good they don't taste like a chocolate bar like you can tell it's definitely healthier like you can taste the dates and the chocolate chips but I love that you can taste the actual real ingredients in the little bars and they're so good and if you like sweets you will love these because especially with the dates it makes them super sweet then let's talk about this brand that I just discovered like last week but I had to shout them out because I love like their snacks and I was blown away by how good they are and how you can't even taste like the cauliflower in here so these are the from the ground up cauliflower pretzel sticks so they're just like little pretzel sticks just like this but they're so salty they have like this really good seasoning they taste like regular pretzel sticks like you wouldn't know that these are made from cauliflower which is what's so interesting about them it says here you can eat 40 of these little pretzel sticks for 110 calories which is like unheard of when it comes to pretzels so I love the fact that you can eat a lot of these and it's so low calorie and it tastes like a pretzel but it's literally just like cauliflower so that is officially it for my current beauty favorites so I hope you guys enjoyed it I had a little bit of everything I feel like I was chatting for quite some time but I just had I feel like lots to say about these products they're all amazing so I will link them all down below if you guys are interested I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for being here and I will see you very soon in my next one bye